Hi, my name is Pete Gerlach. I'm a professional family therapist. I have been one for 31 years, been on the planet for 73 years, observing, studying, thinking. Uh, since 1986, when I discovered I was the son of two alcoholics and came from a very dysfunctional family, which I thought uh, up until that time was perfectly normal, it was not. I want to offer you some comments and dispel some wide misunderstanding of the common mental health diagnosis called borderline personality disorder. There's a lot of misinformation in the public, on the in the media, and on YouTube about this serious psychological condition and what to do about it. The borderline in the title refers to the difficulty in assessing whether a person is simply got some unpleasant behavioral characteristics and traits or is genuinely, quote, mentally ill. Often the symptoms of such people vacillate back and forth and it can be difficult to definitively decide do they really have a major problem or are they just a little wacko, meaning weird but okay? Neither of these is true in my professional opinion. Borderline personality disorder does have a set of roughly definitive characteristics. Um, frequently mental health professionals apply this diagnosis when they can't come up with a clearer definition. Uh, because the traits and the behavioral symptoms of this condition are so variable. Some major ones are uh, high emotional volatility, going from elated to depressed, to high reactivity, going from calm to upset to excited quickly, and at times over no discernible reason. Sometimes self-harm, um, people suffering, quote, BPD um, can attempt to harm themselves, cut themselves, um, and starve themselves, etc. These symptoms overlap a number of other mental conditions, psychological conditions. My experience consistently, as I have studied recovery from childhood trauma, is People who have been diagnosed with borderline and other personality disorders, quote unquote, are really grown wounded children, GWCs. What that means is because their first um, one to six years of life occurred in a significantly dysfunctional family, and they did not get, as young children, their needs met consistently or at all, they're, in order to survive, these people, uh, now adults, developed, when they were young, a set of up to six specific psychological wounds. Excessive shame, excessive guilt, excessive fears, excessive trust disorders, uh, excessive reality distortion, including denial, I'm not wounded, or yes you are, and if you have all five of those, many times uh, grown wounded children or GWCs have the sixth wound, which is an inability to empathize and love and bond with other people. They are perpetually isolated and have to pretend to be normal, which they are not. I can't stress enough, people who have suffered these wounds and are struggling to live the lives despite them, they don't know they have these wounds, they don't want to know, and even if they do know, they don't know what to do about them. Borderline personality disorder is a misdiagnosis. It is a symptom of the real problem, which is having two to six of these psychological wounds. There's a deficit to either thinking you yourself have BPD or have some mental authority say, well, you have BPD. No, you don't. 
you have a group of characteristics that most mental health associates and professionals have not yet connected to these six early childhood wounds and therefore the treatment for BPD is often misplaced and ineffective. The real treatment that can be very effective is to use an emerging type of therapy called inner family therapy, IFS, which I've been practicing for 19 years. You can look it up on the web or in my nonprofit website at sfhelp.org. Lesson one in that website is all about psychological wounds and wound recovery and inner family therapy or parts work. So I urge you, if you are affected in some way by so-called BPD, study my lesson, my nonprofit website, Lesson 1, and look at the related YouTube videos, uh, which I will give you a link to right now. I hope this lends some clarity to a very confusing, often distorted subject in the media. Thanks for watching.